What's going on guys, Crypto here, and welcome to my Q&A. Now, uh, if I sound different by any chance, it's because my Blue Yeti decided to be a dickwad and mess up. So I had to get a new microphone, so I got the Blue Snowball, so that's what I'm recording this on. And I got some questions for you guys from Twitter. If you guys want to uh, ask me uh, more questions on the next one, make sure to follow my Twitter and face and follow me on Facebook. Well, like me, like on Facebook. You know what I'm talking, what I'm telling you guys. It's gonna be in the description down below. So let's get right into it. All right. The first question in was asked by Chief Rocka One One Seven. What kind of freak, dude? You got the like one of the weirdest name I've ever seen. But you ask, what got you into gaming? What got me into gaming is that uh, a long time ago, when I was like around maybe four or five, I actually went uh, to the to the house right behind me, and they had like this uh, the NES, and that's how um, I don't know where they just decided to invite us over, invite me and my brother over, and we uh, we we started playing, and oh my god, it was the best experience of my life. I fell in love with games after that. After that. I think the first game I actually played right there was maybe uh, Super Mario. It was either Super Mario or Sonic. I don't remember which one it was, but it was one of those two. Or it was Duck Hunt. Yeah, let's go with those. Um, next question. Um, this is kind of like a very old question. Is It was asked by Skeletor97. He asked, what did Santa get you for Christmas? Sonic didn't give me shit. Apparently, he thought I was a bad boy and he didn't give me anything. I'm kind of sad about that. Either way, I would I would have liked some things. Like maybe... Things. I don't know. Something, at least. Alright, let's go with the next question. Next question was asked by Kaiser Koo. He asked, how did you go about promoting your channel? Well, I didn't really try to promote it like really well as I should have. The only way I did promote it was from uh, submitting my videos through community channels, and that's how I got most uh, expo like some exposure. And most of the time, it was because of uh, the live stream that Zap had, and some people really wanted to know what my channel was, and someone decided to advertise me, and uh, they all went over there. So that's how mainly I got promoted. I guess you can say. All right, next question comes from at bay underscore day day. She asks, what do you hope to do in 2015? Well, if this is like a revel, uh, like a, how do you call it? Uh, resolution, some, some shit like that. I, forget, I don't even know what the fuck it's called. Uh, New Year's something. Anyways, I have three goals for 2015. Um, goal number one is to, oh, to keep having fun if like, I want to keep having fun doing this YouTube thing, and you no, know, if I don't have fun, then you guys are gonna know from the videos. So right now, I'm having a lot of fun just doing these funny moments with my friends, and it's really, it's really something to have uh, this uh, experience, like to just play and record and share the, my moments with you guys. The second thing is do well in school, even even though um, like I am concentrating in school. There's there's like I, I want to like get like super good grades like at least above a B average than last last semester that I got like maybe a C and that kind of bummed me out. But I want I want to have like better grades. And number three is to keep pro providing content for you guys. And why it's so low is because you know either either way um we're focusing on school. This is there I have a like a little bit of time to uh, edit. And while I, when I edit, I usually take like above five hours and that doesn't give me enough time for school and doing this, doing YouTube. So like, I want to keep doing this for you guys. And I'm pretty sure I will. I will try my best, even though if I have to like cramp up, like studying and doing this YouTube, but I will, but this is something I'm really passionate about and that's something I will really I don't even think I don't even see myself quitting anytime soon. So that's that's the question for you, Day Day. Alright, next question comes from at L Super Chubby. If you guys didn't notice, he's not in this because he decided that it was a better idea to 
party all night instead of coming over here and doing the Q&A. Alright, he wants to know, what's the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you in your entire life? Holy shit, okay. Let me think, actually, because there's a lot of things that happened to me over the course of my life, and a lot of things were very embarrassing. Oh, wait, here it is. Um, It was back in fourth grade where, um, like, I was cleaning up the classrooms for my teacher because she asked us to, and it was me, uh, three other girls, and some dude, I forgot his name. Oh, wait, it was, it was like a, like a, one of my friends, like, a. Uh, I want to say he's my friend, but he's some guy I talk to, like, not on a regular basis, but, like, maybe once a week. Well, when we were cleaning the bathroom, my stomach started feeling a little fuzzy. It was, like, grumbling. I was like, oh, God, what did I eat? And, you know, it was it was getting really bad. And I told everyone to get out of the room just in, just in case, uh, you know, it was going to get real messy. But uh, they said, no, uh, we're, let's just finish this. So, um... A moment later, uh, I threw like the biggest fart I think I've ever had, and out of nowhere, um, the African American girl out of nowhere said, "Oh my God, you just farted!" And then she ran out the room, and everyone followed. And that was the most embarrassing thing I've like ever. Oh my God, just thinking about it, oh. I wish I wish they she would have just left and would have just took my word for it. Why didn't you take my word for it? All right, next question comes from at Rebel on a Mission. He wants to know who would you say has helped you the most when it comes to your channel and popularity? Top five. Wow, only five. All right, I have this I have this almost down because I had to think about this one. I would say number one would have to be um. Maple because because of him and his weird ways he made it he made like He made this um, recording thing real fun, and I appreciated that from him Number two would probably be Waterstar 32 and the only reason I'm saying that is because she made me a like a bunch of pictures like she drew pictures of like my characters or anything for me and it made me feel like super popular that I I'm like wow, like I feel, I feel, I felt very important at the time. So, even though my, even though I was pretty small, she did that for me, and I, I'm really grateful for that. Number three would have to be hashtag America, and I, um, this guy usually was with me the whole time. Well, not really the whole time, but like the starting of the funny moments thing, like the funny moments chapter of my channel. And I really appreciate him doing like everything he can just to be a part of it. Number four would have to be the guy that asked the question "Rebel on a Mission." He he tried to advertise me on his on his Twitter. He did me and him like we mainly we were we we're just best buddies. Let's go with that. And I appreciate him like just uh, hanging out with me and doing like anything he can just to help. Really appreciate it, Rebel. And the fifth one would have to be as usual the Mr. Zabaston. The only, and why? It's because he is the reason that I actually got my start. Like it wasn't be for his fans and everyone that subscribed to me, then I wouldn't be I wouldn't be like right here where I am right now. I mean, it's not really like uh like huge, but it's something, at least it's something that I really am grateful for. Because he him and his fans are the reason why like I'm right here right now, and I'm close to, I'm close to a good milestone, which is a thousand subscribers, and that's that's something real, that's something really fantastic, and I'm really grateful for you guys, for doing this for me, for supporting me. All right, and last question, how did and this was asked by at Mr. Maple Syrup, he wants to know how did you meet all your friends, and I'm guessing you're talking about the friends that are in the videos. So I actually made a list because I couldn't remember all of them. So the first one was uh, Maple. Maple I met from a like a live stream from Jade. Um, we um, the only reason I added him is because he he had the most beautiful voice, and after I added him because of that, 
me and him just started hanging out. We started playing together, and I, I considered him a really good, real good and close friend of mine. So that's Maple. Hashtag I met through Jade as well. And the only reason I added him is because I felt bad. And the only reason I felt bad is because I always, like, accused him of being the terrorist in Trouble in Terrorism Town. I kept saying, it's hashtag, it's hashtag, all the time, without stop. And, you know, he was a good sport about it. And, you know, I decided to add him. He was a cool guy. Next one is Rebel. Rebel, I met through uh, a open lobby. I decided to add him because I thought he was actually one of, like, the original people that, like, were regulars on Zap's um, open lobbies. Turns out he wasn't, and we just started playing together, and me and him just became real close. That we even got so many inside jokes, and no, I love the guy. He's a good friend of mine. Next one is Waterstar. Waterstar I met through, I think it was one of my live streams, and she just decided to, like, donate money to me, and also, she decided to make some pictures of me. So I decided to add her, you know... After meeting her, oh my gosh, she was like one of the most wonderful persons I could I could meet. And she was she's just an amazing friend and I consider her a very close friend of mine. Next one is Jumper. Jumper I met through I think it was a live stream or an open lobby. I don't really remember. But I didn't really play with him at first until like the start of like some of the funny moments and then I started he started to come in. So yeah, Jumper just decided, just like sneaked his way into the, into I guess you could say the group, and I, I really, I really like the guy. The guy's, the guy's pretty funny and he's pretty cool. The next one is Kaiser. Kaiser, I met through. Um, how did I meet Kaiser? Oh yeah, I met through um, a Zap open lobby, and uh, the funny story is that I tried to add Kaiser a couple of times. He declined it every single time. Until this one time, um, he decided to invite me to an open lobby to someone else's. I don't even know. I forgot. And, um, yeah, he just, he just decided to add me. And, yeah, we became, we became good friends. Still love the guy. Even though he, you declined my freaking friend request. Why, Kaiser? Why at the beginning? Why would he do that? I wanted to add you. Anyways, next person would is Denzer. If you guys don't know, me and Denzer met when we were just kids. He's actually a person I know face to face. And me and Denzer go way back since like I want to say since I was 5, 4, somewhere around there. At first, me and him didn't really talk. He usually talked to my brother. But after a while, me and him just started to become real close and close and close. And look at us now. Kind of, I kind of don't like the guy because he's kind of dumb. But I can't, I cannot love the, I can't like say I don't like the guy. I love the guy. He's a good friend, best friends. He's, he's like, he's like the guy I go to when I, ha when like I have something to, like I have like a problem or something. He's a cool guy. Fucking love the guy. If only he started making videos, then it would be great. Next person is German. Now, German is the same as Denzer. Me and him know each other face to face. And he was actually the person I that uh, me and him would always hang out. When he came over to my house, me and him would always be hanging out, playing games, doing anything together. Me and him were like, we, we couldn't be separated at like at the very young age until like, want to say high school, that we kind of like, we didn't really talk as much, but um... We we kept we kept we kept talk like we there was like a bit of talking at some points, but me and me and a uh, German we go way back. I love the guy. I love the guy to death, just like Denzer. Yeah, let's go with that. And last but not least, Skull Kicker. Now Skull Kicker I met through an open lobby as as um all the other guys, some of them. Um, I actually didn't know if I would actually like Skull Kicker or would hate the guy. I thought he was like more of a, um, an attention whore, as you can say. But after like he after he just like out of nowhere sent me a friend request, I decided to accept it just to see if like I would like the guy. Notice 
notice that um I actually do like the guy. He's actually a real good person. Once you get to know him, and after he stops at, say, saying that I'm from freaking Alcatraz, San Francisco, whatever. But he's actually a real good guy, and I've considered him a good friend. And that is the end of the Q&A. Oh, but, and also a real quick thing. Me and Maple actually, like, talked a lot, and um, we actually, I don't, I don't know if it's, it's going to be a thing. But I'm thinking of like meeting up with Maple one one of these days and you know just hanging out. Even though he does live in another state, he might come uh, to uh, California for a convention and maybe we'll hang out. Maple, if you're listening to this, you better keep your weird shit at home. Anyways, uh, that's the Q and A. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to give this video a like, and make sure in the comment section below you tell me if you guys want to see another Q and A. I know this one came like really long and that's because of the questions the questions were really like really uh i had to go in depth on some of the things so yeah sorry if it took a little bit longer than expected but i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys um if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe you know i post videos sometimes twice a week i try my best but yeah um that's it for this video and i'll talk to you guys later peace